Hello, welcome. My name is Hadra, and today I'll be getting you through a practice of breath work and yin yoga. So if you have a pillow or any props, you can get them. Any kind of pillow, any kind of block, even a water bottle, something tall, this, this height would be nice. Let's get started in a seated pose, if you like. Sit on your pillow. Roll your shoulders back a few times. Inhale, circle your arms overhead. Interlace your fingers and stretch up. Exhale, bring your palms together and your thumbs to your forehead. Take three deep breaths through your nose, gazing at, through your third eye, up between your eyebrows. Please bring your hands down towards your heart. We'll begin by chanting Om three times long and loud. We remember and honor the purpose of yoga, which is to clear away anything that stops us from seeing the light of our true self. Something that's timeless, changeless, infinite, always present. It's the same in all beings. So honor this space by chanting long and loud. And as you chant, think of the heart of all beings everywhere, vibrating with peace, vibrating with the sound of the Om. Everyone, everywhere, everything. Draw a deep breath in. May all beings everywhere uh, benefit from our practice today, as well as us. Release your arms, circle both arms overhead, interlace your fingers, press up. Exhale, twist to the right. Place your left hand to your right knee, the right hand behind, extend your spine. And twist all the way through your neck, look to the right. Inhale, come back to the center, take both arms overhead, interlace the fingers, press up, stretch. Exhale, twist to the left, right hand to the left knee, extend the spine, and twist all the way, low spine, mid spine, through your neck. Now come back to the center, take both arms overhead, interlace your fingers, stretch up. And as you exhale, cactus shape, arm back bend, and your head drop back. Inhale, extend your arms up. Now exhale, walk your arms forward and stretch your back. Let your head relax down. Keep your breath moving through your nose. Come on back to center. Find a comfortable sitting position. We'll begin with Kapalabhati, breath of fire. With the breath of fire, practice forceful abdominal exhalations through your nostrils and put the emphasis on your nose and exhaling with an even exhalation. The inhalation comes by itself. If you want, grab a tissue if your sinuses are blocked. We'll do 108. You can go fast or slow or do rest if you want less. And then two retentions of the breath. So at the end of the 108, lift up your sternum. 60% inhale, fill the lungs. Tuck your chin and squeeze your pelvic floor. Do mula bandha, lift up mula bandha. 
do Jalandhara Bandha, the throat lock, the root lock. You hold for as long as you can with your eyes closed, gazing towards your third eye, and then gently release and do one more retention. Okay? So draw a deep breath in to prepare. Exhale all the way out. Inhale. And begin. Conclude, exhale, inhale 60%, 70%. Lift up the rib cage, lift up the sternum, tuck your chin, apply the locks, hold your breath. Whenever you're ready, release. Do one more inhalation. Inward retention, Kumbaka. Exhale to release. Take a normal breath. Next, Pastrika, the bellows breath. The bellows breath, you put equal emphasis on exhalation and inhalation. So it's like moving from the diaphragm in and out like this. Breathe through the nostrils, emphasize the nostrils. This is for clearing the channels. It also is said to build heat and joy. It can release the diaphragm as well, any, any stuckness around the diaphragm. We'll do 108. You can do less, you can do more. As you get comfortable doing it, pick up the pace, kind of like a sniffing dog, like this. But if you find yourself losing your breath, then slow down again, okay? And we'll do two more retentions. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale all the way to prepare. Inhale. And begin. Conclude. Now inhale 60%. Tuck your chin, apply the locks, keep the gaze at the third eye, hold your breath. Squeeze Mula Bandha. When you're ready, then release. Do one more retention. Hold the breath for as long as you can without fighting.
Whenever you're ready, then release. Take a normal breath. Notice how you feel. Next, twisting breath for joy. So take your elbows wide, place your hands interlaced behind you, or you can just hold the back of your head or neck. And as you inhale, go right. As you exhale, breathe through your mouth to the left. So we'll be twisting like this. We're just gonna do 30 of these, a little bit slower, then we'll pick up the pace. Exhale everything. Begin. Good. Come back to center. Release your arms. Keep your eyes closed. Breathing. That breath is good for opening the heart and the lungs as well. Ego eradicator. This is the breath of fire, Kapalpati, with the arms up. We'll start with the arms like this. The thumbs are up. This is also good for the lungs. Pull your arms back like you're plugging up the sky. Reach with your thumbs especially. And we'll do 108 breath of fire. At the end, two retentions. You bring the thumbs together. Tuck the chin and apply the locks. Watching behind the forehead. Okay? So draw both arms up. Inhale completely, exhale completely, inhale, begin, breath of fire, kapalpati, through the nose, exhalation. Conclude. Inhale, fill most of the lungs. Leave a little space. Bring the thumbs together, tuck your chin, hold. Then release whenever you're ready. One more inhalation. Arms come up, thumbs together, tuck your chin, apply the locks, Mula Bandha. Udiana Jalandara. And then conclude. Release your arms. Keep watching. Purifying pranayama. Purifying pranayama. You inhale through both nostrils. And as you inhale, imagine all the prana that you just cultivated, all the prana around you, like light filling your body. 
So draw a deep breath in. And tuck your chin, hold your breath, apply the locks. We use Mish Vishnu Mudra, the uh, ring finger and the thumb. And block off your nostrils. Imagine the prana going into all the places. You need extra energy anywhere your body, your physical body needs it, or your mind needs it anywhere in your emotional body. Send light all the way everywhere to all your organs, to your relationships, to any situation. And when you're ready, exhalation through the left side, forceful. Imagine like smoke coming out. All, anything, impurities leave the body. Then do one more inhalation. Hold the breath. Imagine the prana going everywhere that you need. Forceful exhalation to the left. Last time, breathe in through both nostrils, all the prana, all the light filling your body. You can imagine like a white, beautiful light, a bright light. Apply the locks, hold the breath. Imagine the prana going everywhere, making any impurities Fill with light. And when you feel ready, forceful exhalation through the left. Impurities out. Then release your arms. Low breath through your nose. Brahmari buzzing breath. For Brahmari, we use the index finger. You close up the flap of your ears or you just plug your ears. And we'll make a buzzing breath, like the sound of a bee, like this. This is for clearing the nadis. Try to send, and also to awaken the third eye and pituitary and pineal glands. Try to send the vibration up into the middle of your skull. Move the sound up, okay? We'll do two sets. Do long as you can. Draw a deep breath in and begin. Whenever you're ready. Release, do one more. And when you finish, keep your eyes closed. Watch the right side of your brain. The side that recognizes unity. Las Kriya. Yoni Mudra. For Yoni Mudra, blocking the gates of the senses. So using all the fingers, you plug your ears with your thumb, you plug, you close your eyelids with your index, close your nostrils shut with your middle finger, and then seal your lips together with your pinky and your ring finger. So everything gets shut off. You're going to retain your breath. We'll do two. Retain your breath for as long as you can without fighting. So if you feel like you're fighting too much, just let it go. When it's time to take the second breath, just lift up your middle finger. 
So you can do this. Just lift your middle finger and close it again. Hold. Okay. Okay. Ready? Draw a deep breath in. Whole time, stay gazing at the third eye. Look for any colors, any shapes. So listen for any sounds inside and begin. Whenever you have completed, watch the right side of your brain. Keep the eyes closed. Last breathing exercise we'll do is Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breath. For Nadi Shodhana, use Vishnu Mudra with the right palm, right hand. Keep your fingers spread and then release the index and the middle finger. This is Vishnu Mudra. We use the right, the thumb to cover the right nostril and the ring finger to block the left nostril. So you press them in and alternate. The left arm can rest, maybe in Gyan Mudra, or just rest it on your knee, up, palm face up or down, okay? Keeping the eyes closed helps the prana stay inside the body, uh, stay inside, so you don't release unnecessary prana. Inhale, exhale completely. Lock the right, inhale left. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath, apply the lock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Exhale left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale left for four. Hold for eight. Sorry, for 12. And exhale right for eight. Inhale right for four. Hold the breath for 12. Exhale left, eight. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold. Exhale 
exhala. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold. Exhale left. Do two more rounds, that's eight breaths, and on the left, on your own. Make sure that you finish exhaling on the left side. And then release your arms and keep watching behind the forehead. That concludes the breathing practice. Now come into your mat or wherever you are. Just come onto your hands and knees. We'll just warm up the spine, then we do meridian stretches and slapping. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Exhale, press the floor away, round your spine. At pose, tuck your chin. Tuck your tailbone. Inhale, slowly roll your shoulders back. Arch your spine. Look up, concentrate at the tip of your nose and at your tailbone along the spine. Concentrate along your back. Exhale, round your spine, push. Inhale, arch your spine, look up, tilt your tailbone, down. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, arch. On a neutral spine, curl under the toes, downward dog, walk forward, rise up for standing, hands to the heart, feet together or parallel, exhale, do your namaskar, inhale, reach your arms up, back, exhale, fold forward, Bend your knees that you need. If you need, let your head come down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back. Plank, rock forward, lower your knees. Chest, chin, ashtangasana. Hold the pose. Slide your body forward. Ujjangasana, cobra, look up, Pinto. Adho Mukha Shwanasana, down dog, lift up your hips. Lengthen your spine, press away the floor, and relax your spine. Lift your heels, send your knees, look forward, walk or hop forward, extend your spine, inhale, forward fold, exhale, inhale, rise all the way up, reach up or back, 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, Ashtangasana, step back. Lower down knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Lift up your tailbone away from your hands. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump forward, extend the spine, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up, reach back. Exhale, forward fold. Last one, warming up. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back, lower down. Ashtangasana, Mujangasana, Cobra. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, breathe. Try to send the legs towards the back wall. Draw your navel in and up. Let your neck relax. Now look forward, lift your heels, bend your knees, either walk or jump forward. Extend your spine, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, Rudva Hasvastana, reach up. Exhale, release the hands to your heart. Step your feet at hips width apart. Warm up your hands by rubbing them together. Meridian slapping for the front body will awaken the subtle energy which lies underneath the skin. Stomach meridian on the front side. Start by slapping your toes. Move along the front of your feet, the front of your legs. Front of your shins. Softer on your knees, harder on the upper legs if there's more muscle. You can use your fist inside the hips, not on the bone, but at the little muscles inside the hips. And then move along your stomach. Make your stomach hard and hit both the sides of your belly button, awakening the chi, the solar plexus. Start to move up. Move along the front of your ribs, move along your chest, the top of the chest, here at the lung points. All the way to your collarbones. When you come to your collarbones, take your fingertips and tap behind or inside. You can even scoop your shoulders forward so you press inside your collarbones. The stomach meridian has to do with nourishment, digestion, also this is a place in the front body we can carry emotions such as worry, overthinking, that can live here. Just helping to release any sense of overthinking, start to tap along your neck. Any of worries, anxiety, that may get trapped in the body, in the muscles. Move along your neck, begin to tap on your face. Get the corners of your mouth, the corners of your nose, under your eyes. Release any tension that lives under the eyes, in your face. Get all the way underneath your eyelids and then start tapping down. Letting all the energy move around. Everything begins moving as we do this. Start to move down your neck, along your esophagus. Behind the collarbones, you can scoop your shoulders forward, get behind your collarbones. This is stomach 12. Really good point for releasing neck tension. Get the lungs, start to use your hands on your chest, front of the ribs, stomach, you can hit hard. Inside the hip bones. 
start to move down. Front of the shins. Climb up the um, feet, top of the feet, and pinch your second toe, having to do with the stomach meridian. Now the sides, fist below the ankles, at the bone of the foot down below. The side body is the gallbladder meridian, associated with the gallbladder, also associated with the liver, which is on the inside of the legs. Start to slap along the sides. Notice any places you feel tense. Try to get any little knots out. See what comes up. See what comes up in your mind too. Start to move along the, the IT band. You can even use your fist here. Or if it's too much, just use your palms. This area can be intense. Sometimes it gets tight. We can break it up. Move along the side of your hips. Use your fist. Ball bladder meridian is said to be responsible for the distribution of emotions into the body. So this is these places are the first places where we feel tension usually. Move along the sides. Take a deep breath and use your knuckles to scrub between your ribs. Get the intercostals. Make some space. Notice on top of the shoulders, the trapezius. We want to keep everything moving up here. Gallbladder has to do with and is related with the emotions of anger or and or determination, a kind of emotion that rises up and breaks through. That could live at the top of the shoulders, releasing any anger, resentments. Move along the side. Tapping, tapping at the jaw behind the ear. You can hit pretty hard when you get to your skull and then go above your ear. Now go to your temple on the side of the head, all the way to, to the outer corner of the eyes. At the side of the head, open and close your jaw and try to release your jaw. Make sure you still stay breathing. Notice if anything feels tight or tense. Okay, start to find your way down, back, along the side of the neck, shoulders. See if one shoulder is feeling different. Other shoulder. I'm gonna keep everything moving, moving, fluid, take a deep breath. Fill up your lungs and now scrub the side, opening up the ribs, making a space, release any tensions in the side body. Move on the side, hips, side of the hips. Side of the legs. You can scrub it, you can hit it. Move all the way down. Below, above the ankles with your fists and below the ankles with your fists all around the ankles and then below on the bones. Pinch your fourth toe, gallbladder. Now the back body. Use your fists since there's more muscle in the back. Start by hitting the heels. Get behind the legs. Calves, get the mid calves. Softer behind the knees, harder at the hamstrings. You can move around. Spend extra time at any place where you feel like you need. Move all the way up to your glutes. Hit your glutes pretty hard, especially the very middle of them. Outer glutes. 
You have the sacrum, the flat bone, the low on the bottom of the spine, near the bottom of the spine. Imagine where your tailbone is. Hit both sides. Try to release your pelvic floor to your tailbone. Feel the vibration moving into your pelvic floor, releasing any muscles, any tension in the pelvis, and start to move along the spine on both sides, not the bone, as high as you can. Kidneys. Back body is related to the nervous system, responsible for protecting our animal body. Reach your arms up, palms facing back, and hit as low as you can, as high as you can. And then move along the sides of your neck. So the back body is responsible for putting us into fight or flight mode if something traumatic, if something shocking happens that usually collects and freezes into the back body. So any fear, shock, trauma, this is what we're looking to release here in the back body. Go all the way to your skull, get the very crown of your head, the topmost point, use your fingernails, hit hard, and then start to move along the front, eyebrows, release the tension in the eyes, in the eyebrows, in the forehead, Bladder meridian ends in the corner of the eyes here. So you can just do light tapping. Be careful of your eyes. Let's start to move up. Crown of the head, back of the head. Ridge of your skull, that's a really good point. Sometimes that can get really tense for people. Start to move down, low as you can. Back of the shoulders. Hit the kidney points here, lift the kidneys. Back body associated with the kidneys and urinary bladder. Releasing any tension that lives in the glutes. Not a lot of time we work on uh, releasing our glutes this way, so spend some time here. Try to move all around. You can hit really hard. This is the biggest muscle in the body. One of the biggest muscles. Just start to get your uh, sacrum, make sure you get that bottom bone. This one's good for pain, but especially menstrual pain. And then start to move down. Just awakening the chi, move all the way to the sole, um, to the heel, and pinch your fourth toe, your little toe. Come up to standing. Close your eyes, just stand and breathe. Notice how everything's moving now underneath your skin and into your body. We just activated the meridians according to the Chinese system, awakening the organs. And now we'll come into the organ stretches. So now that we've awakened them, we'll move the energy along the meridians. Bring your feet together. Inhale, circle your arms overhead. Interlace your fingers, reach up. Release the index finger like this. Straighten your arms, bring your weight to the heels, hips forward, upper body slightly back. Inhale, stretch up, exhale. Bend over to the right, press your hips to the left. In this one, you choose how deep you wanna go. Let your head fall over to the side and think of stretching the side of your neck. Helping to stretch the gallbladder meridian, squeeze your legs together. Move further to the right, straighten your arms. Two hips, two shoulders in one line, left shoulder slightly back, left hip, hip slightly forward. Slow breaths through your nose. Inhale, rise up. Stretch up, squeeze your legs together. Exhale, move up and over to your left. Press your hips to the right, roll your right shoulder back. <laughs> Someone was about to open the door, so I had to yell so that they know. <laughs> the camera is right in front of the door. Press your hips to the right and open up your right side. Lay your head fall over to the side.
Inhale, raise all the way up. Now drop your head back. Stretch up for the stomach meridian line. Squeeze your legs together. Press your hips forward. Reach your arms up and back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Stop when you're halfway and drape your stomach to your legs. And keep folding down. Bend your knees as much as you need. Either let your arms hang like this or hold on to your legs behind, pinching the little dip at the ankle on both sides, and pull. Lean your weight forward. Focus on the back body. Squeeze your pelvic floor in and up, and try to get your upper and lower body to touch. Especially release your head. Try to bring your face to your legs. Release, arms with your ears. Inhale, rise up, bend your knees. Exhale, float your arms down. Lung stretch, reach through your thumbs. Extend your arms wide. Bring your arms down and back. Feel for your thumb muscles. And breathe along the front side, like a long line that goes along. The thumb meridian starts at the top of the chest here and reaches through the top thumbs. So this is a nerve, a fascial stretch. So looking for any kind of like burning sensations, tingles, that's good. Keep your shoulders pulled down. Lung has to do with our uh, emotion of grief and letting go. So just each time you exhale, imagine releasing any sadness, any grief that lives along this line. Release your left arm, extend your right arm out, down, and to the right. Right index finger points for large intestine stretch. Tuck your chin towards your left armpit. Large intestine line goes from the left nostril through the right index finger. Drop your right index finger down and back. This is also associated with the lung and sadness, grief. On the other side of that lives liberation, freedom. Once we let go of the sadness. Okay, switch arms. Tuck your chin towards your right shoulder. Extend your left index finger to the left. Down and back. Pull your shoulder down until you're feeling something. Reach through the index finger. Bring your right chin to your right armpit or shoulder. Letting go of anything you've been holding on to. Take deep breaths. Release your arms. Pericardium stretch. Press both palms out. Lift your chin. Slightly push through the mid palm. Pericardium is the space around the heart. We want to make the space for the heart to widen, have more space. This has to do with connection, our sense of love, and also romantic love. Now release your left arm, reach your right arm up with the palm facing back. This is a stretch for the small intestine and the heart. Reach your right arm way up, reach your left arm back, rotate your shoulder back, and then bring the left arm up the back and the right arm down the back. See if you can bring your hands to link together. And don't worry if you can't, just bring your arms in this position behind you. If you can bring your top arm behind your head, 
press it back. Feel for the deepest place in your armpits. Do a little back bend. Do a little bit forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Release your arms, extend them out. And now left arm up. The palm faces back, rotate from your shoulder. And then right arm thumb pointing behind you, palm back. Reach behind you. Try to link your fingers if it's available. If it's not, that's okay. Two side might be different. Like this side for me is different. So lift up your chest. Do a little back bend. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Release your arms. Um, triple heater. This is for immunity and also for releasing the fascia. So pull the ring finger down your back. You pull the ring finger towards you. So I'm not sure if you can see. My fingers are like this. Pull the points of your shoulders down your back and tuck your chin. Bring your left ear, left chin to your left armpit and pull your right shoulder down, your left ear to your left shoulder and pull your right shoulder down. Okay, switch. Switch sides, pull your left shoulder down, right ear to the right shoulder. And switch. You can make some half circles. You can do some full circles. Keep pulling your arms back and down. Notice any places you feel tightness, any sticky spots. You can linger there. Try to release any kind of tightness by moving around. Keep pulling your shoulders down. Keep moving the breath. release. Now coming into our last meridian stretch, step your feet hips width, interlace your hands behind you. This is for many of the meridians. Pull your arms down and up, or you can hold your forearms. If possible, interlace your fingers, lift your chest, inhale, bend your knees, exhale, fold forward. Let your head drop. Breathe into the space around your shoulders. We're also opening the front of the chest. Inhale to rise up. Now release your arms. Tuck your chin. Roll down. One vertebrae at a time. Come down into child pose. Take your big toes together. Take your knees apart. Extend your arms forward. In this child pose, keep your palms facing up. Focus on your pinkies for the heart meridian and sit your hips down. We're moving into our longer holds. We won't do too many postures today since we took our time with breathing, but we will do several poses. And this is my cat, Jaja. She's very nice. So anyway, come back to your pose if you were looking at my cat and relax. Allow your hips, hips to sit back. You can widen your knees if that's comfortable. Try to keep your palms facing up.
Now bring your hands under your shoulders. Come on up, threading the needle. Extend your left arm up, palm open, inhale. Exhale, left arm underneath the right side. Extend your right arm forward or place it to your low back. Put some pressure to your left shoulder. And if you want more, extend your right leg to the right. Half splits. You can turn your head in any direction. I prefer turning mine to the right. Some people like putting their forehead down, which is also nice. Now, as we begin to hold the postures for longer, focus especially on slowing and deepening the breath. Bring your awareness to areas of tension. Let those areas of tension melt away. Bring your right palm under your shoulder. Draw your right knee back if it's out. Inhale, extend your left arm up, palm open. Exhale, release your left arm. Inhale, extend your right arm up. Exhale, bring your right arm under your left shoulder. Put some pressure on your shoulder. Extend your left arm forward or to your low back. And if you did on the other side, extend your left leg back as well, or left leg to the left. Adjust your pose so you can stay in it for a bit. A good place in your pose where you can relax and breathe. Take your left hand under your left shoulder. Draw your left leg in. Inhale, extend your right arm up. Exhale, release both arms forward. Anahatasana, puppy pose. Keep the hips above your knees. Stretch your arms forward and melt your chest down. Maybe your chest will come to the floor, maybe not. Try to get your throat on the floor eventually. A deep stretch for the lungs. This one, especially focusing for opening the top of the lungs. The top of the lungs and all the way up above the collarbone. Think about pulling your windpipe out of your lung. You can focus on the points at the top of the chest for the lung or at the throat, or at the middle of the chest in front of the heart.
Now slide forward, use your elbows so you can slide forward. Sphinx pose. So let your low body relax. Place your forearms down. Make your neck long, pull your shoulders away from your neck and slightly tuck your chin. Focus on compressing your low back by pulling inward with your arms a little bit. So you create a compression near your kidneys. This helps to stimulate the kidneys and also to stretch the front side. If you feel like adding more intensity, you can come to Bhujangasana variation. So you lift your elbows up, so the arms are more forward. If you want to go more, bring your arms in. But for less intensity, just bring your arms forward or even bend your elbows. For more, look up. And then for even more, if you like doing this, you can bend your knees like this, close to your head. Once again, focus at the front of your chest and also at your low, um, at your mid, low back. Lifting up through your chest. The neck is very long. Holding the poses for longer creates a shift in the body. Break your body down. Extend your right arm to the right, palm face down. So we are working on the lungs a lot today. Palm face down, starfish pose. Turn over to your right. Stack your shoulders and your hips. You can take your left leg behind you. If you don't need your left arm for support, take it behind you. If your head feels uncomfortable, Put a block under your head. You can adjust the pose. So if you need more, you can take both knees up. So it's a deeper twist. But I'll keep one leg straight like this. Roll back to your stomach. If you feel a tingling sensation in your right arm, that's normal. Leave it to the side. Let the blood come back to your right fingers. When the blood comes back to your right hand, now do the left side. Extend your left arm to the left, palm face down. Inhale, exhale, turn to the left. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Maybe use one leg up as a prop. Maybe on one side, you need the block. So on this side, I feel like having the block because my body's more tight in the shoulder. So I'll put the block under my head and then rest. Or you can use a pillow if you don't have a block. This posture really helps stretch the chest, opens the shoulders, and it awakens the 
all the meridians that move along the arms, the heart, the lungs, pericardium, trouble heater, building immunity, large intestine, small intestine. Believe it or not, the small intestine, meridian, the energy of the small intestine goes all the way to the pinky finger. Now roll back to your belly. Let your arms rest by the side. Look to one side or place your forehead down. Let the blood come back to both arms. And bring your hands under your shoulders. Press up onto your knees. Take a quick downward bow, just to realign the spine, stretch out. Now inhale, lift your left leg up, reach through your toes. Exhale, bend your left knee, scorpion dog, find a twist, opening the hips. Inhale, extend your left leg up. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Find a lunge. Crescent lunge. You can drop your back knee or leave your leg up if you want more intensity. Interlace your fingers, reach up, look up, reach back. Exhale, release your right arm inside your leg. Lift your left arm up, side foot. If possible, bring your forearm down, bend your left knee deeply, find twist with a bind, reach back for your back leg. If that's not available, just reach your arm back behind you like this. And if possible, hold your foot in the twist. You just spent a lot of time working on the arms, the shoulders, but now let's move into the hips. It's a nice stretch for the hips. A lovely twist. Unwind. Place your hands inside your leg. Curl under your right toes. Step your left leg back. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, reach through your toes, press through both arms the same, bend your right knee, open up, twist, open your hip. Inhale, extend your right leg straight, exhale, step forward, low lunge, 
or high lunge. Extend your arms. Interlace your fingers, reach up, look up at your wrist. Squeeze your left leg, reach back. Release your hands, left hand inside the leg, right arm up, spine twist. Place your left forearm to the ground. You might have to adjust your right leg to do that. For me, I have to bend my right leg more deeply to do that. And then bend your back leg, hold onto your foot. Or just twist back like this. If possible, hold your leg. Look to the right. Now release your arms, curl under your left toes, step back to plank, downward dog, walk your feet forward, malasana, turn your toes outward and your heels inward, bring your palms together, drop your tailbone between your legs, you can move side to side until you find a comfortable spot just for a little while here. From here, Pavanasana, open face, uh, toe stand. Bend your toes out. Try to bring your heels towards one another. If you have a block or something, you can hold, hold on to it. Take your knees wide. And then find the balance. Maybe hold your block, maybe move your hands. Squeeze Mula Bandha. Your heels don't have to touch. They can be really far apart. It can lift up away from your hips and stretch through the crown of your head. Now, release your right knee, Swastikasana. Extend your left leg straight. Bring the heel of your foot between your sitting bones at your perineum, at your pelvic floor. Flex your left foot. If you need, keep your arms down. This one might be intense. And if, if you don't need, lift them up. Releasing the plantar fascia at the bottom of the foot all the way to the pelvic floor. Releasing the pelvic floor. And let's switch. Extend your right leg, curl under all your left toes. Place the heel of your foot between your sitting bones. And then come up. Maybe one side feels different. Bring your hands to your heart, bring your hands to your side. Maybe use the floor, maybe use a block to shift the weight if it's too much. Release. Now turn to the side. Tap out your toes, the top of your feet. Frog pose. 
Take your knees wide, keep your feet flexed, and make sure there's a right angle between your knees, feet, and hips. They're all in one line. Flex your feet. If you have your pillow, you can use your pillow. You can use a props or a block here. Moving into the inner legs associated with the liver. Having to do with yin chi. And also our sexual health, sexual energy. Liver is on the other side of the gallbladder, which we worked on when we were hitting the outer body. This is an organ that helps us get a lot accomplished, but then also it's where we can hold anger. To help release the thighs, inner thighs, you can squeeze and release your pelvic floor. We won't be here for too much longer. Just a few more poses. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Step your knees together. And now move to the side. In, um, sideways or whatever way. If you have a wall, we're gonna do headstands next if Sasana. So if you want to use a wall, you can. Or you don't have to come all the way to headstand. Do any kind of headstand you want. And then share this one, interlace the fingers. Make sure there's this much space between the elbows. You can hold opposite arms with your arms. So about shoulder width. Then place the crown of your head down. You can stay here. You're still stimulating the topmost point of the body. If you want to stay here, stay here. For more, put more pressure on your head by lifting your legs. And then if you're okay there, maybe lift one leg, maybe the other or switch sides or do both. We're, we're gonna hold headstand for a few minutes. Do your best. If you can do lotus, hold the legs for lotus. Headstand helps flush the lymph. It helps shift everything in the body. It stimulates the young most point at the crown of the head. Whatever pose that you chose, meditate. Now focus on breathing deeply. We're already 30 seconds into it.
Okay, if your legs are up, come on down. And take child pose. Rest. Place your hands under the shoulders. Tavasana, lie on your back. Final twist. Take your knees to your chest. Let your legs fall to the right. Let your arms be wide or cactus. Maybe look left. Come back to the middle. Inhale. Exhale. Let your legs fall over to the left. Back to the middle. Give your knees a quick hug. Pull your back. And now extend your legs and arms for Savasana and rest. Let yourself close your eyes and begin to breathe deeply. Please feel free to stay here and rest as long as you need. And whenever you feel ready, or if you're ready to come up, start to move your hands and feet and roll over to one side. Gently, slowly bring yourself up into meditation position. In a straight spine, find Gyan Mudra, fingertip 
and thumb and rest on your knees. Take five deep breaths. Bring your palms together at your forehead. Bring your hands to your heart. May our practice benefit all beings everywhere. May we have health and peace and success. We'll chant the mantra Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, sending out peace. It just means peace. Think of the heart of all beings vibrating with the sounds. Everyone, everywhere, all around the world. Draw a deep breath in. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> I was able to uh, turn on the mic now. I don't know if you can hear me.